What is up everybody and welcome back. Today we are looking at how to plot coordinates on a graph. The first thing to understand is our x and y axis. Axes just refer to these straight lines in the middle of our coordinate graph. And we have four quadrants to our graph. We have the first quadrant, which is this one here. And a lot of the times we can just use this quadrant because this is the positive quadrant. Because this is the positive quadrant with positive numbers on both axes. And then sometimes we use the other three, which we're gonna look at as well today. And then the second thing to understand is which axis is actually which. So we can see this horizontal axis, this is called the X axis. And the vertical axis is called the Y axis. And one very important thing to remember is that we go across the corridor and up the stairs. And that refers to going across with the x axis looking like a cross before we go up the stairs. And it refers to the way that we interpret these coordinates. So it basically means that the first coordinate is looking on the x axis across before we go up on the y axis. So let's see that in practice with our first example, minus five and three. So step one, we're gonna start with our x axis, which is our first coordinate, minus five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look along my x axis for the negative five, and I can see it just here. And now I can look along the y axis, and in this case we have a positive three. So I'll look along my y axis and look for my positive three. Now what we have to do is plot the point on the graph where these two coordinates would meet. So what I would do is draw a line from my three and from my negative five and find where they cross. I was a bit sloppy there, I should have been right on that line, but you can see X marks the spot. Okay, let's do number two, and the X axis is a positive three. So I'm gonna along my X axis until I see my positive three, and on my Y value, we have a negative three, and negative three sits just here. Now I have to be super careful when drawing my lines that I don't start on the wrong place. But here we can see this three cuts right through this line here. So I could draw a line all the way down. Same with my negative three. And therefore my cross would be where they meet, just here. Number three has a negative four on the x axis. So that would be just here. And a positive one on the y axis being just here. Same thing again, draw a line across those lines and find where they meet. In this case, they meet just here and label it negative four, one. Okay, number four has a zero on the x axis. Now this is interesting, isn't it? Because we've not had a zero so far. Well, zero would be right on this corner part there where the two axes meet. And they've illustrated that by putting the zero just next to it, but it's actually right on the corner. Okay, and then on the y axis, we have a negative five, which would be down here on the y axis. Therefore, this coordinate is actually on this purple line, the zero line of the x value, and down to negative five on the y. So my mark would be just there. Okay, number five. Number five has two positive values, so I think we're gonna be using this first quadrant and we have on the x-axis a five, and on the y-axis a four. Draw lines to connect them. You could use a ruler, I don't have a ruler on here. And then we cross where they meet, being really super careful, we go right on the corner, get rid of my lines, and again, label it. And ready for the last one, number six, negative two on the x-axis, and negative three on the y-axis. Draw our lines and mark our cross. And this coordinate would be minus two, minus three. And there we go, that is all of these six coordinates plotted on this graph. 